Hey everyone, welcome to another video with JavaScript at Beach Tutorials. Today I'm going to go over something really simple but trips up a lot of people and I'm going to go over basically the definition of a function versus the definition of a variable function. So in JavaScript there are two different ways to write a function. The first way is like this. Function and then of course you have a name for your function so we'll call it hello. And then there's another way to write a function and we could call it a variable hello which is equal to a function. So the difference between these two statements one is a literal function and the other is a variable function. So if you've ever like done any web programming like HTML or CSS uh, and you've done CSS especially you might have seen something like this along your way. So you know, like in CSS, there is the class, then there's the ID, then there is the uh, important tag. And I think in CSS, you also have the element tag. So the element, like if I were to make like a P, that would have some weight, you know, like that would be kind of important. But then if I add a class to it, then it makes it more important. If I make it ID, then the ID overrides the class and the element. And then, of course, if I have the important, the almighty important, that kind of overrides everything. So in that vein, like in CSS, if you write function literally like this, then JavaScript looks at it and goes, oh, this is an important function. It must be so important, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to put it on the window, which is basically just the global object. If you were to ever just write this, that would be equal to window. We'll just do a console log true, console log false. By the way, I'm using the ternary operator if you're not sure what that is. It just allows me to write an if-else statement in one line as opposed to two or three. So I've got a hello function and I've got a variable hello function. And both of them don't do anything right now, but let's go ahead and just uh, copy this part right here and put it in here. And we'll put the same thing here. And now, now that we're done writing these out, we still have to call them. So I'm going to call them here. Hello. And just for simplicity's sake, we'll just call this hello too. So we don't worry about overrides. It seems like I got an error. Okay, well we can ignore those. It's not important. True and true. Okay. So if I want to like get around that error, I think I can. I think JSBin doesn't like the uh, ternary operator for some reason. It should work totally fine though, like when you uh, work on any other browser or like work within like Sublime or Command Line, whatever you use to do JavaScript. In. So anyway, um, now I'm going to show you like one more difference here. So these both do the same thing. Um, so what I'll do next is I'm going to call hello and hello two up here before the function definitions. And I want you to see what gets thrown back at me. True, which was here, but then hello2 failed to work. Said hello2 is not a function. But wait a minute, it is a function. So why am I getting this error? What is hello2? Why don't we console log hello2? It is an error, not a function. Well, what happens if, let's go ahead and command, comment this out. If we put it down here. It's undefined. What if we put it down here? 
now it's a function. What about this? What if we put it down here? It's true still. It was true up there. Put it down here. True. So you see the difference? This hello works anywhere because it's an important function, whereas this variable function doesn't really work until we actually have defined it here. Once we get the definition right here, then we can actually call it. And console logging hello too is basically a redundant idea because at this point it's going to show us the same thing what we want to see. But basically run true true. If I tried to run hello to up here before the function was actually defined, it'll only say, oh, hey, well, I know there's a hello too, but I haven't got to the definition yet because we're still early up in the code. So hello too is still just going to be a variable at this point that is equal to undefined. Once this code, once JavaScript runs the compiler and reads this code and once it gets to this line, then hello2 will be defined. And that's because this is not an important function to JavaScript. Only the variable is. So when JavaScript runs, it basically looks for anything important. It does a two-pass compilation. It looks for functions, and it looks for variables. And when the variables and the functions have been declared on the first pass, it'll like grab them up and basically um, start another process of compiling. This hello definition all gets pulled up at once. And so right from the get-go, it goes, oh, I know what hello is. If I try to run it anywhere in my code, it'll go, yeah, I know. That's true. But this var hello hasn't reached the second compilation pass. So it'll say, I just know that there's a hello too, but I don't know what's inside of it because I haven't gotten to this line. Therefore, if I try to call hello too here, it's not going to work. It's just going to give me an undefined. Whereas if I pull it down here after the code, it'll work. And there may be cases why you want to do this. Like some people who write JavaScript only write functions like this. They've never bothered to do the other way, which is the variable way, because they don't have to. In, when you're a programmer, you have the liberty of using whatever style you like to write. Now when you work with others, then you want to follow some sort of code convention. Otherwise, you'll confuse each other, especially if one person writes like this and the other person writes like this. You kind of have to decide which one you like better. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. So just like how in CSS, you probably wouldn't write everything as important, although you could, and you could make a page that's very important, uh, you probably wouldn't you probably want to follow some sort of code uh, procedural practice. So immediately the benefit of writing your functions like this as opposed to like this uh, is that you save it, you make it so that the person can't really execute the code until after it's been defined. Which actually makes sense if you think about it. Why would you want to execute code before the code had been defined? That seems kind of weird. Uh, especially like if you have a large code block and then later you're trying to debug and you're like where did this hello function come from I don't see it and then you scroll down like millions of lines or you realize it's in some include file somewhere else if you know that it's been defined first then you can go to the definition and then you can just call it which is great so that you know a lot of people like this variable hello um, definition for functions uh, then you know these are super important functions I feel like a lot of people kind of like, you know, don't want to write this way because it confuses people. So most people say, hey, write your functions like this. And I agree with that. But then there are cases where, you know, you're not really writing like a big application and you, know, you might just want to like be lazy. And so this could also work too. So either one works. Uh, whatever your preference is, you know, just pick one and stick to it. But it's not a bad idea to learn both. Alright, so I hope that this tutorial helped, and I will see you later.